In this video, we're going to go over how to set the cam timing on the N63 engine using the AGA cam timing kit. The kit consists of the exhaust plate and the intake plate and a hold down bar, as well as the crank holding tool with the indexing pin. And we have incorporated into this kit the chain tensioning device, which is quite different from the BMW. It's a lot smaller in size. It's a lot easier to use in the car when there's room restrictions and a lot more cost effective. Here we have the engine out of the car to make it easier to show you how to do it in this video. Obviously the engine is in the car when you're doing this and you can easily remove the camshafts and set the cam timing with the engine in the car. You start with turning the engine over with a 27 mm socket on the center crank bolt until this machine flat on the cams is facing up on both bank one, intake and exhaust, and also intake and exhaust on bank two. Note, always turn the engine over in a clockwise direction. Note that the mark on the balancer is getting close to the groove in the front timing cover. Install the crank holder on the crankshaft. This can be very tight sometimes due to paint interfering with the bracket. If that is the case, carefully clean off the paint without removing any material from the crankshaft. Install a 10 mm bolt to hold the bracket in place. Insert the crankshaft pin through the holding tool and rotate the engine slowly until the pin drops into the groove on the front timing cover. At this point, you can insert the exhaust gauge or bracket and it must align perfectly with the surface of the cylinder head on both left and right side in order for the cam to be in correct timing. Also insert the intake cam gauge or bracket and it also must be in perfect alignment with the surface of the cylinder head. If it is not in perfect timing, you must loosen and replace the cam bolts holding the cam gears onto the end of the cams. This concludes the camshaft timing checking, not removing and replacing. And that's what we're gonna do next. To remove the cams, Install the 12 millimeter to 8 millimeter adapter and the plate hold on bar and tighten it firmly by hand. Remove the cam solenoid adjuster assembly. Once the cover is removed, here a really quick trick. Pull out the pin for the crankshaft. Gently rotate the engine in a backwards direction. This compresses the timing chain adjuster and allows you to insert the pin. Now gently rotate in a forward direction back until you can reinsert the pin. This takes all the tension off the timing chain adjuster and you can now freely remove the hydraulic chain tensioner. The pin is holding the piston in the compressed position. You can now, with the cam plates and hold down brake installed, loosen both bolts on the intake and exhaust cam. Remove the hold down bracket. Remove the cam plates and the 12 to 8 millimeter adapter. You can now remove the center chain guide. Unscrew both intake and exhaust camshaft bolts. These bolts need to be renewed when you go back together since they're a one-time use bolt with an angle torque. Now you can remove the intake cam adjuster and the exhaust cam adjuster. 
To save time in this video, we're not going to cover the removal of the installation in the camshafts. It's very straightforward. Once you're going back together, please refer to the instructions that comes with the all German cam tool kit. It has all the specific tightening torques and written down right in the instructions. Too much to remember from the video anyway. And you just have it right there in your hand as you're going through it. Please note, make sure you keep track of the components. Used rocker arms may only be used in its original location. Parts location cannot be interchanged. If you're using this video as a reference in regards to how to replace the valve stem seals, stop the video here for valve stem seal replacement. View the AGA N63 valve stem tool video. To go back together, pull up in the chain and start with installing the exhaust cam adjuster. Pull the slag out of the chain and install the intake cam adjuster. Install the center timing chain guide. Install the 12 to 8 millimeter adapter. Install the exhaust cam plate and the intake cam plate. Install the hold down bracket and tighten firmly. The bolts in the factory hydraulic chain tensioner are captured, so unscrew them so you can use them for the chain tensioner tool. Make sure the plunger is in the retracted position. Insert the chain tensioner in place of the original hydraulic chain tensioner and tighten the bolts. Tighten the chain tensioner tool by hand until the slack in the timing chain is taken out. Now you need the AGA gauge tool to preload the tensioner to the correct setting. You tighten the 10 millimeter hex on the chain tensioning tool until the point where the gates can just be inserted in between the hex piece and the round piece like so. This tensioning tool ensures that the chain is now in the correct tension to set the cam timing. Note, do not over tighten this or continue to tighten past the point where the gates can be installed. This small tool takes the place of the larger tool that sticks out really far from the engine and also takes the place of the centi-newton meter torque wrench needed to set the preload on the chain. So only this tool is needed to replace these two items. This is very significant in some of the models when you're working with the engine in the car, since there's cooling hoses, cooling pipes, wiring harnesses, and other items in the way of getting the larger chain tensioning tool into place. Tighten exhaust and intake cam to 30 newton meters or 22.1 foot pounds plus 90 degrees of rotation on the exhaust and 90 degrees of rotation on the intake. With the chain tensioning tool still installed, remove the hold down bracket intake and exhaust plate, remove the crank pin and the crank bracket. Turn over the engine 720 degrees or two revolutions until you're close to your mark again on the harmonic balancer. Reinstall crank bracket and slowly turn engine forward until crank pin can go back into the groove on the front timing cover. Reinstall the intake and exhaust cam plates or gauges and check for proper alignment. They should fit at this point 
perfectly to the surface of a cylinder head. If the cam plates do not fit perfectly, you must repeat the final steps to bring the cams back into proper alignment. If they do fit perfectly, very important, reinstall the cam hold down bracket prior to installing the original tensioner. This will prevent the cams from rotating during the removal due to the load from the valves. Release the tension on the timing chain tensioning tool. Remove the timing chain tensioning tool and transfer the bolts to the factory tensioner. Install factory chain tensioner and torque to 13 Newton meters or 9.6 foot pound. Now you can remove the chain tensioner pin and now you can remove all other tools and the cam timing is complete. To order the product in this video or to download specific instructions for this tool, visit atatools.com. There you'll also find all the other products that we have to offer. If you want to stay up to date on all our products and latest tools coming out, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.